Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Paul Pro Instructor Courses. My name's Tracy. Today we're going to be focusing on a really interesting subject when you wrap your head around this. Now, it's called dynamic movement. Don't get dynamic movement and dynamic stretching confused. Dynamic stretching is where you take your joint and you stretch it to its maximum capacity and you relax it, stretching and relaxing. Dynamic movement is speaking about the joints in your body. So it's the movement that a particular joint makes, right? So, here we go. I'm gonna run through our joints. Now what happens is, what we do is, we move our joints. How do we move our joints? Our muscles engage to move our joints. They're, they'll either contract or stretch, and both ways, that is how a joint works. The muscles contracting and stretching allows a joint to move, rotate, or open or close. So whenever you're setting up your workbooks, we always ask you to refer to the dynamic movement. Now what we're trying to do is, we're trying to get your head around the, the movement that a joint makes so that it is protected by the muscles, so that you can develop and condition the muscles to work with those joints. Sometimes, for example, you'll have a person who's, who's hyperextends. So, for example, I will hold my arm out. A person who hyperextends, their arm would actually be in a banana shape past their elbow. Now, if that person later down the track is doing eyeshits on the pole, that bow in their arm is actually quite dangerous for them, of course. So, what you would do, bearing in mind, okay, the elbow flexes and extends, it's a hinge joint, it opens and closes. So what you would do is you would get them to slightly bend their arm and to use their bicep, their deltoids and their lats to push down on this arm to aid protection around that joint, okay? So, in the warm-up section, I'm sure you'll hear me re remember me saying don't ever roll your neck. Well, guess what? Your neck rotates. But instead of rolling your neck 360 degrees, you can always go 180. You can go from shoulder across your chin, and you can go from shoulder around your back. Rather just stay away from rotating 360 degrees. Okay, when referring to the shoulders, you've got elevation, depression, rotation, lateral rotation, medial rotation. Now we always refer to the arms and the legs as rotating laterally or medial. So medial is down your midline, of course, laterally is away. It's an arm or leg movement away or towards the body, lateral rotation, medial rotation. Okay, elevation, depression. Okay, so our spine, flexion, extension, or oh, flexion, extension, flexion, extension. You can also have a spinal twist or a spinal rotation. So you would have a lateral or a medial, lateral or medial rotation. The hips, ball and sockets. The hips have got a lot of movement. So when we're warming the hips up, we, we want to take these joints through their full range of motion, yes? So you would have swung your leg forwards and backwards. You're going to get inside, outside, opening and closing lateral and medial rotation. There's a fantastic move that you can do, both for the shoulders and for the hips. And it actually, in one movement, it takes the shoulder or the hip through their full range of movement. So, bend one leg. Bring that knee past your thigh, up in a circle, around your back, touch down. Taking that hip through its full range of motion. Releasing synovial fluid, increasing flexibility in your joints. Fantastic. Same move can be said for shoulders. Front of your face, back of your head, up to the roof and around. Front, back, up and around. You can go with one arm or both. Knees, we've just got our flexion and extension because they hinge joints. And then we have plantar flexion, and I always remember plantar flexion because plants are planted in the ground. So pointing down is plantar flexion and dorsiflexion is flexing your feet up. Wrist rotations, we always rotate our wrists. And then we have circumduction, moving your joints on a 360 degree axis. So that gives you a little bit of insight into joint movements. 
and that is dynamic movement. Thanks, have a great day.